what's going on CFOs and folks looking for CFO-esque or financial dashboards. So very common thing, right? People are used to seeing QuickBooks and they wanna see it in a more visual way. So it's actually usable as opposed to a P&L, right? So quick overview of how to make something like that, a financial dashboard uh, with some tools that I use all the time for my clients and some common features for CFO style or financial dashboards. Let's dive in. <clears throat> okay, so you're probably used to seeing something like this, right? This is QuickBooks, this is their sample company and a monthly P&L, right? Nothing super exciting here, but there's a lot of good information in here, right? Um, getting this out of QuickBooks and into something much more usable and much more user-friendly is a bit of an art. This fairly easily actually can turn into something that looks like this. And we'll get into all the how of that and the why some tools are used and stuff like that. But first, let's exit out of this. So to get to, to get to that, we do of course have to start with QuickBooks and this can be used. So I'm gonna go through a program, um, two programs. One is a data transfer one. It's called Coupler IO. Uh, there's a link in the uh, bottom of the, or the description of this video for Coupler. They do a great job of taking things from QuickBooks into a lot of different sources. Uh, I'm gonna be using Google Sheets. You can also use it for Google BigQuery. You can use it for Excel, lots of other things. But um, this is sort of the quick and easy way in some cases. And then the other tool I'm gonna be using is uh, Google Looker Studio, which used to be called Google Data Studio, if that name rings more of a bell, but it is just an online web-based, cloud-based uh, dashboarding software from Google. So this monthly PL uh, is great, right? It has all the insights that we need. We have to get it out of here and into something that looks much more usable, much more manageable, right? So Coupler, this is sort of like their homepage. They, again, take the data from QuickBooks. You just log in and they dump it into Google Sheets. And it'll come in looking something like this. I've cleaned up a lot of this data and made it fake data and all that good stuff, but it'll come in kind of looking like an income statement. And it's because it is an income statement. You've got dates, you've got transaction types, you've got whatever invoice numbers. Um, this is like client name or who's buying it, whatever description is in there. Um, the amount is kind of the big column here. And then it starts off with revenue or income as they call it, and it goes through all the different revenue sources. I don't wanna jump back up to the top, but uh, it then goes through all the expense categories and numbers too. So that's step one. That's actually an automated pull from, Quick, or, uh, from QuickBooks through Coupler into Google Sheets. It's pretty easy to set up. Honestly, Coupler does a really good job of walking you through how to do that. Next is making it into what I call database format. So this is great. Um, it comes in in a pretty good format, honestly. There are some bells and whistles that I always put in to make it into this correct format. And it kind of looks like this. I've got a bunch of columns over here that are in blue, that what I call like helper columns. So from that database format, now we can upload it into something that looks like this CFO financial dashboard. So within here, I'm gonna make this larger. Let's go into presentation mode. And again, this is Google Looker Studio. It used to be called Google Data Studio, just their web-based platform for making dashboards. So everything in here comes from that export. Um, there are, the, this is the one that does require some manual or human intervention, just basically tagging where different leads came from. And you could technically do that in QuickBooks. It's sometimes it's just much easier to say, customer A came from a referral, great, let's just log it there and then use that as a helper column. But like I said, everything in here, um, super, super useful, right? You've got this whole date selector up here. We've got uh, the month of October, 2022 selected. And then you've got some main KPIs for the selected month, revenue, expense, net income. Obviously nothing groundbreaking there. You can get into whatever detail you want, um, but then also some year-to-date info. And again, the budget you could do in QuickBooks, 
sometimes easier to do outside of QuickBooks because you're typically making it outside of QuickBooks, but obviously you can easily loop that in. And then I'm a big fan of trends. So again, nothing too crazy here. You could really trend whatever you want because it does come in with some really good dates, um, but revenue and net income versus that budget, right? So if you hover over any specific month, it looks like we fell a few grand short of budget in February, 2022. And then March, we were a few grand above budget in 2022. So it's a really good visual representation of how you're doing over time, especially if you have that budget comparison, which I know a lot of financial dashboards, it's kind of a necessary point of it. Um, top clients this month. Now you could switch this from clients to products. This is currently uh, products and this name could change as well. But uh, putting those both in here not as an error, but to show that you could do clients, you could do products. Either way, the data comes in pretty, pretty nicely. And then top expenses too, just what does that breakdown look like? Um, you could have this comparing two different months. Uh, you, can, you could have any of this comparing two, two different months either, uh, or versus a year to date percentage kind of thing. You get really creative with this data. And this is just a one page, pretty simple dashboard, but it gets the point across it is very, very impactful. And if you are looking for that CFO knowledge, that CFO insight, this isn't going to be the entire thing, but it's definitely gonna put you at least a couple steps in the right direction for getting that full financial picture of your business, seeing what's working, seeing what's not working, and identifying some trends um, and some things you might kind of have a gut feeling about, but the data will back up hopefully, or if not, it'll help you point you uh, or help point you in the right direction. So quick recap um, from QuickBooks, we go into this, what I call the PL import here. It is an automated data poll from Coupler that dumps into here, make some helper columns and put everything into what I call database format, and then link that up with Google Looker Studio adding that as a data source and you can create all these visuals and make this entire process a whole lot easier than checking out each individual month within a PL by month and trying to see what was July versus June. Oh man, what's that percentage? Do we care about all this stuff? No, pick your, ba pick your favorite KPIs, pick the things that you really need to watch in your business and you need to see grow or change get everything into that database format uh, through Coupler and then make some room looks like this. It'll completely change the way you look at financials. I almost never look at my QuickBooks anymore, I promise. Um, if you have any questions on this, I know this is just intentionally an overview. There's a lot of nitty gritty steps in between, but I am more than happy to talk, share some insight, um, get you signed up with Coupler or any of the other tools that are good out there. But please feel free to reach out. My name's Jack. As always, thank you so much for watching, everybody.